fighting with all her might, had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would have to plunge into the Fourth Lands. Once home to Hephaestus, god of fire, hammer, anvil, and forge, these were now godless lands. Scorched, laid to waste. What was not dead was dying. Chaos reigned. For here, monsters roamed free. Can you. Can you not tell this story like I wasn't just there? Zeus. I was literally just there two weeks ago. And even if I wasn't, though I was, I'd be listening to your story for days. It's called dramatic effect. It's called Where's My Skip Button? Uh, yes. Fine. Q title. And the last thing I played this week is uh, something that's not out yet. And that is the game formerly known as Gods and Monsters. Ubisoft's Gods and Monsters, which is now called uh, <laughs> just the worst name I think I've ever heard. The most market research, garbage, forgettable name ever. Immortals, Phoenix Rising. But, but, they, but they spell Phoenix in a really dumb way, oh, just to like God. really like narr like slam home just how focus group this fucking name is. It's insane. Yeah, it, it's like it, proper it, noun. It's the yeah, it's the epitome of, of 49 cent shovelware that you find at the bottom of the Nintendo eShop. Yeah, yeah, like gods and monsters, I at least knew what that was going to be about. Yeah. Uh, here, your proper noun colon exciting action. Like, fuck off. It's just garbage for a name. However, uh, the game is relatively fun. Okay. <clears throat> it's uh, very clearly built on the Assassin's Creed engine. Uh, a lot of the combat uh, like setup is, is kind of the same with the RBRT for your attacks and uh, you got a bow, and you've got a, a an arrow that you can guide with the right stick if you want. So a lot of that stuff is kind of pulled out of Assassin's Creed. But what I did not expect from this game, it, it it is so the antithesis of serious. There is zero serious in this game. The whole oh, nice. thing is narrated by Zeus and Prometheus, and one of the first lines that comes out of Zeus's mouth is talking about how, oh fuck, can we just skip to the game? God, this story. <laughs> like, where's the skip button? <laughs> I was like, what? What's happening here? Yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> and it's, I, I, I don't want to call it witty because I don't think I heard enough of it, but it was just charming enough that I, I paused to listen when the uh, narrators were speaking. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, I, I ahead, fucking Rick. love some of these enemy designs. I'm looking at a picture of this fat uh, Medusa. Dude, she is yeah, terrifying. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh, it's like if you took Assassin's Creed Odyssey and made it just full of Greek mythology, and then pasted over top uh, Breath of the Wild. Because a lot of it is very clearly patterned after Breath of the Wild. There's a big focus on using a stamina meter, both in combat and for climbing and for flying. So there's a lot of uh, stamina management type of things going on. A little bit of a crafting system that's kind of reminded me of Breath of the Wild. The art style is a little bit like Breath of the Wild, uh, but it, it plays much more like a regular ass video game than Breath of the Wild does, which is kind of nice. It was much more enjoyable to fight monsters than it is in Breath of the Wild. Cool. But yeah, in like the, the space of an hour or two, I took on a Minotaur and those Medusa monsters and some giant uh, metallic automatons and I fought against a god and hey, I don't know. I think I think this game is is actually going to be a bit of a, a bit of a sleeper whenever it releases. I don't know what the release date is, but yeah, oh, it sounds awesome. Yeah, I was pleasantly cool. surprised. 